yo, you know, even listening to you speak, Big was more like a big brother to you. No doubt. And, and that was so much real love because you telling me he was pushing you away from the streets. Even when you was like, yo, let me come. Yeah. Nah, this ain't for you. Like, I got you next week. That That's a genuine love. You know, yeah. he didn't look at you like, okay, I can make money off him. I can make money with him. Nah, I want to keep him off the streets. I see something bigger and better in this yeah. man. That's dope. And he saw that in all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, even the ones that was heading towards the wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, I don't want y'all doing this. That was his whole purpose of putting the group together. How many people you know back in them days was actually grabbing little young dudes off the street and writing songs for them? Or if he know you can rap, he's getting you a studio. He's got people going up every day, getting on the train back and forth, going to these meetings, trying to get you a deal. He genuinely cared about his surroundings and he didn't want us to grow up like he was growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like we were seeing what was going on out there. It was, it was treacherous waters. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't this, you know, the way we work today, you got things to distract you, computers and phones. And imagine in the 90s when we ain't have none of that. You out, you outside all day. You can't be on the phone because your mom's hogging the phone in the crib. There's one phone in the house that drags a long ass wire through there. <laughs> your sister got the phone next. And you know, your mom's going, your, your brother on the phone next. It's like your only time was to go outside. And then when you're outside, anything can be. You know what I mean? You're walking outside, you sit on the corner, you sit next to somebody that got drama with somebody. Somebody might come back here, try to stab him or shoot him. Next thing you could get involved in something. So it was very easy to get caught up out there. So you know what I mean? What he did was really big for us because he was really getting us away from that so early and we was already you know active and getting into shit because we was you know we was young you know you doing teenager shit you know what i'm saying yep. you know you out there you trying to rob you know you out there starting shit you fighting the school you know what i mean you, you come back home you trying to hustle you 14 15 years old dog you know getting chased and next thing you know, your mom's got to come pick you up from the precinct you know what i mean like it was stuff like that and he was just like yo i'm gonna try to avoid y'all from that because it's real out here you know what i'm saying so that's just kind of like you know, that's just who he was. You know, so it wasn't just me. He did that for a lot of people. Just that it was just a bond with me. I would just, you know, I didn't want to leave his side. You know what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. those days going on, I want to stay with him. Whenever he was writing songs, I'm the one sitting in the room with him while he's writing them. You know, yo, wind that back for me. I want that back for you. Yo, roll up that. Roll up some weed for me. I roll up the weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, right, I got you. Like, it was the support system, and I just think that he was peeping that. Like, all right, you know what? This little dude, he young. He too young to even have this type of energy, this type of love. If I put him around me, I'm 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 a mold him into what he needs to be, and I think that's what he was doing with me. Like, all right, I know I can work with this one. I could I could change him, and if mm -hmm. I could change him, I might could change everybody else once they see what's happening to him. And that's kind of like what happened once everybody was seeing the love. All the all my little young homeboys that was out there doing shit, they started to gravitate to that. Like, all right, you know what? All right, we're gonna we're gonna fuck with Big, and he was fucking with everybody too. You know what I mean? Like, you're not. I ain't going nowhere without my crew. We all lived on the same block, grew up with each other since we were six, seven years old. You know what I mean? So. That's how that's how real he was keeping it. It was all love with him. 